Hello, welcome back. In this unit, we'll see the store and how it can help you to quickly start your robotic process automation journey. The store is available, is available within Cloud Factory in a dedicated tab. The store is also available without Cloud Factory in a public website. The only difference with the one within the Cloud Factory, you can only browse the content. We provide different kinds of content the pre-built content and the SDKs for Cloud Studio. For each content, we give you the overall information, a detailed description, and the details of the package is also included. And obviously, within Cloud Factory, you can retrieve in your own tenant. Let's talk about the pre-built content. You can easily browse with the different criteria or filters. You click on Get, to acquire the content. And within your tenant, we can, you can simply customize, if needed, the content. Let's do a quick demo of the pre-built content. The store is available in two flavors. We have here uh, the content that you can browse or within the uh, factory, within your own tenant, you can go on here and go on to explore. So you see the, the same content is available. The only difference is uh, you cannot acquire the content. So if you go here, you see there is a getting started in comparison here, you can acquire the content. So let's have a look on the on the on the public store. So you see we can you can uh, make some filtering like switching from Excel, going for this category, for the line of business, industry, and you can filter very quickly and you can hide the filter if you need to. You can do some plain search, like if you're looking for Excel, if you're looking for sales order, if you're looking for a business partner, or if you long, if you would like to have a look on BAPI, for instance, and each time you will see the the line here with the, the tile question of business, and you can see the different versions. So you can go here, show all versions, and you see the different versions that have been published, and the different what's new. So within the tenant. So, for instance, let's say you want to add, uh, add the order, sales order. You want to use uh, this one, for instance, so you can see uh, with a different example that could appear. And with the show all versions, and you see the different versions, so you can even acquire the previous version if you need to. So, you click on Get. And now, uh, this version is uh, going to be added within your own system. Success. So if we can go back on the Explorer, and let's say that you want to have a look on the Hello World, for instance, you can download this Hello World for the Cloud Studio. You click on, on Get. So depending of, of the type of information you can have, uh, specific uh, illustration. So we can not get, and this version is going to be added. Back to the packages. So the project that we've import the package that we imported from the store are now displayed here. So we see that uh, we have the automatic creation of sales order. So we've got the different files and the desktop packages. So we can have a look on the different files that have been provided. And we can go on the Hello World from the Cloud Studio. We have the files, the project pane and the automation. And what we can do 
from here we can deploy directly with the added trigger or we can decide to reuse so this option is available here to reuse this package and it will create automatically a project and then this project has been added in our own system and we can modify this project directly and that's it The store has more than 100 pre-built content. It covers multiple lines of business created by our lines of business experts. The content can be ready to use or could be customized or even becoming the basis of your own automation. And let's talk about the SDKs, the feature pack. Our SDK is modeled by design. We put in place a simple dependencies management. Once added within your project, the corresponding activities will be available. In the help portal, each activity is then documented. Within the project settings, we display the list of SDKs embedded within your project. You can add or delete a package, update it. And as mentioned before, with each SDK, a set of new activities will be available. Let's do a quick demo. This SDK is provided within the store. So in this case, we'll see the different SDK with a core SDK, Excel, Outlook, PDF, UI5, or Word. And over time, new SDK packages uh, will be, new feature will be available within the, within the store. So we can go here on the, on the core SDK and we see the different versions with the package details. Excel, for instance. UI5. PDF. Oh, Word. As we can see here, there is a new version for Word. So we can go directly here to update this version in our own tenant. And this version is going to be updated. So we click on refresh. And now we've got the latest version of the uh, Intelligent RPA Word SDK. Another thing that we can see on the project, we've got the Hello World Cloud Studio, so we can have a look. If you click on the gear button, we see on the dependencies that we have got new version available uh, from these two SDK. So we can click directly here to update all SDK, or we can decide to update only one SDK. So for instance, we can switch to this version, click update, and that's it. And the same for the core, we can just click here, select the version, and we'll see that uh, the system in, uh, expect that we will be prompt of showing, showing that this uh, version is being impacted with a dependency. So we can just update this version. And that's it. And now what we need to do at the end is to click on generate package to update this version. It's only patches. Generate a package. And now if we go back to the to the view of the packages. So we've got our initial version from the store, and we've seen now the Cloud Studio 2, which is an updated version, and we see the different versions. So we used, uh, we imported the SDK version 1.4, and, 
and this now is using the latest SDK version. And that's it. And that's all for today and this week. We hope you enjoyed the store presentation and how it can help you to start your robotic process automation projects. Thank you.